The history and progression of the clarinet. I believe the clarinet is one of the greatest musical contributions in history, becoming one of the most common or standard instruments in a middle school or high school band, orchestra, and ensemble. Without it, we wouldn't have the saxophone. But back to this clarinet. How did the clarinet come to be? It all started in the late 1600s during the Romantic period of Europe in which Johann Christoph Denner of Nuremberg, a German woodwind instrument maker, and his son Jacob invented the clarinet in 1690 to be exact. Denner had increased the range by two octaves by adding two additional keys, one of them being the modern day register key, as well as created a better mouthpiece and bell for the instrument. The clarinet had evolved from its ancestor, an earlier instrument called the chalumeau, the first true single reed instrument coming from the late Baroque and early Classical period with only about six to eight tone holes, making it appear very similar to the modern day recorder. By 1800, most clarinets had about five or six keys. However, the next major advancement after Denner would have to be the introduction of a removable mouthpiece in clarinet history, as this made possible the idea that the mouthpiece could be made out of different material than the rest of the instrument in order to create different sounds. Later on in the year 1812, Ivan Mueller, a clarinetist and inventor, had created a 13-key clarinet, giving clarinet players many more advantages such as more volume control and a better tone. Around 1850, Carl Behrman, another clarinetist, invented the 17-key clarinet, fixing many of the problems by earlier models where this new system had its holes placed acoustically for greater ease when playing, and was even more in tune than those compared to the earlier clarinets. Finally, a German man by the name of Oscar Euler created his own clarinet system, the Euler system, using Behrman's design, which is still used by German clarinetists today. Besides Euler, there have only been minor changes in the design and works for the clarinet. Louis Buffet, a French manufacturer of woodwind instruments, had taken the ideas of the modern flute, the Boehm system, and applied them to the key work of the clarinet, while Eugene Albert, a Belgian instrument maker, was dedicated to improving Mueller's model, finally achieving the modern-day clarinet we know and love. Despite all these adjustments and improvements, when speaking of any clarinet, a B-flat clarinet is mostly thought of, which consists of 17 keys and 5 main pieces. The bell, the lower joint, the upper joint, the barrel, and the mouthpiece. Clarinets tend to be made out of grenadilla wood or plastic, however rosewood is accepted as well. Yet there are at least 11 different types of clarinets differing in size, intonation, and notation that are known to exist. These include the clarinet in A, the clarinet in C, clarinet in B flat, sopranino clarinet in A, sopranino clarinet in E flat, basset clarinet in A, basset horn in F, bass clarinet, alto clarinet in E flat, contra alto clarinet in E flat, and the contra bass clarinet in B flat. The name clarinet itself derives from the French word clarionet, meaning little trumpet. Finally, famous composer and musician Mozart was the first to use a clarinet in one of his symphonies to where the clarinet became a more commonly used instrument than the oboe in an orchestra. Many other musicians interpreted the clarinet into their works, such as the more common composers like Carl M. Weber and Igor Stravinsky and Johannes Brahms. Throughout history, the clarinet has simply gained popularity to become the instrument that is still taught today in a modern classroom. Thanks for watching.